All right, let's go. We're here up on the mountains. There is the sun right there. There's the sun right there. Come on, let's go. Okay, we're going up and walking up the mountains. This will be a good workout. I think it's 51 degrees. Today is the day. It's 51 degrees. We're going to be hiking every day. She's looking for a spot to poop. Do quick. All right, mark your spot. You don't want to see it, right? You just tell them. It's all, get out of the grass. I don't know what's in there. Uh -huh. Let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go. Uh -uh, don't go to the people fence. Hey. How are you? Good. <laughs> You're so nosy, Angel. Come on. Angel's greeting the people. Hey, buddy, what's up? Hi, buddy. I remember you. What's your name? Jacko. Hi, Jacko. This is Miss Angel. Now she's scared. What you scared for? You was barking. Now you scared. Hi, Jacko. You want to play fetch? Angel Jacko left. You scared him off. Why you scared him off? <laughs> Come on. Hi, Jacko. Angel scared the dog off. When he was here, she was acting scared. You're gonna mark your spot. You're gonna mark your territory every time every step we take she pee. You know animals, you know dogs, right? They are territorial. So since she met a dude named Jacko, she's trying to let Jacko know there's a you know you know the female dogs, right? What do you call them? There's a bitch in town. It's not a curse word, that's the actual name for a female dog. Huh? So she let Jacko know that she's in town. Woo, I'm out of breath, y'all. I'm out of breath. But if I do this every day, whoo, I'm going to lose weight. The muscles in my legs, it's going to firm up. I'm going to be fit. I made up my mind. Fit at 50. Right, Angel? Yes. Who said, because you hit 50, you should be old? And busted, decrepit, crippled, mangled. Is that a word? In pain, your knee hurts, your ankle hurts, your leg hurts, your back hurts. I'm grateful nothing hurts. It only hurt when I had to move those three days, walking up four flights of steps, taking boxes up and down for three days straight. It hurt. But I think that'll hurt anyone at any age if you did that in three days. Unless you're physically fit, then you might not feel any pain. Angel. Woo! Angel, hold on. Let's stop for a second. Gee. She just want to run off. I got to catch my breath. I'm standing here. I'm showing you the, the bottom of the mountain. Well, we just walked up. I'm sure you can hear me breathing heavy. I'm not breathing heavy just to be funny. I, it's a fact. But mark me. If I do this every day for one hour, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, I can be able to run up here without even you hearing my heavy breathing. You see nature? Angel, let's go now. Look, I'm, I was standing up. Now I'm done resting. Let me continue to walk. You see God's creation? Yes. Yes, this is Moravian Falls, Prayer Mountain. And I live at Moravian Falls Prayer Garden. That's the name I gave my place. My little tiny home. My 500 square foot tiny home. I'm loving it. 
it's not 100 percent together yet but every day little by little i'm trying to organize it and put it together Woo! excuse me if i'm shouting your ears my friend you can't go in the grass and i don't know what's in those uh, leaves Thank you, Jesus. Angel and Darkness Adventure. We are here on the prayer mountain. Now you see this area right here? This wasn't here when I first came here 10 years ago. This, you see those railings? That's where people can park. You can park by two, maybe three cars here. So I didn't have to walk all the way up here. I could have drove my car up here and park right there and then there's the mountain right there but i decided to park down i park right in uh next to well not next to i park you know and around tree yeah i park right there on her place i don't think she mind i saw two other cars one of them is hers i don't know who the other belongs to the third one is mine Well, this is the sign this is a new sign it wasn't there before future home of moravian falls house of prayers Campfires are prohibited. Apparently, people used to do some campfire. What do you call this stuff? Fire pit, bonfire. Well, it makes sense because with all them dry leaves and these dry branches, because it's winter time, somebody go do a uh, set a fire and forget. That can cause a whole bush fire. So I agree. So I hope nobody gets mad and take attitude. Please obey the order. No fire. It makes sense. You just take one little spark of fire. To stir a whole bush fire. So no fire pit, no bonfire, no campfire. Because people like to camp out here. Whoo! This is the first time I came up on the prairie mountains and ain't met nobody up in here. Angel, let's go. I, I'm bringing you here next time. You're disturbing me. You don't want to go, you want to sniff everything. Sorry. I put your leash too much. Yes. She wants to go everywhere. I know you're having fun. I know you're enjoying yourself. I know they say when you bring animals to a new environment, all the all the strange new what you call it, the scent, the odor to them is like excitement. So she's enjoying sniffing everything. Well, when I come here tomorrow, I ain't bringing you, girl. You gonna stay home so I can kind of do my own thing. But since we moved here. It's been raining off and on, off and on. It's been raining 80% of the time. So this morning I woke up, I said, Lord, I moved into the mountains, not to stay cooped up in my house. It's raining, it's cold, it's wet. I said, I don't even mind the cold, I can always bundle it up, which I am right now. I said, but the rain, give me some sun today. Father, give me some sun so I can go up to the mountain, me and Inja can go walk around. I came, I moved to the mountain. What is I said, Lord, let's go. I moved to the mountains so I can go hiking and walking and walk down the trail. You know, not to stay cooped up in the house. So I said, Lord, I need some sun today. Well, oh, guess what? He answered my prayer. I told him, give me some sun and increase the temperature. Enjoy again. Oh my goodness. May God forgive you. How much is in that little body? Ain't nothing there but two little pebbles. Big as our little pebbles. That's it. Let's go. You happy now? You gotta wipe your butt. I see something that you didn't walk in or get home. So what was I saying? Yes, I was telling the Lord, I didn't come here to be cooped up. If that's the case, I could have stayed in the city and be cooped up in my apartment all day, right? Which is what I normally usually do if I wasn't working or going to a church or art event. I am more of a homebody. And it's not because I got born again. I've always been a homebody. Occasionally, I go out when I was in the world. Now I've got born again, it's the same thing. 
But when I do go out, the few times that I do go out and socialize, I'm always the life of the party. Believe it or not, isn't it? So I like, I enjoy my quiet time, my solitude time, but I also enjoy the time that I spend with people when I go out. Because if you go, I think if you do something too much and too often, it might become boring too. So people who like to go out and party all day, every day, every week, that's why after a while they get bored, they want to do something. It's like taking drugs. The going out is no longer good now, they want to do something else. Now, I enjoy my solitude more than anything else. However, I know no man is an island. And if, if, if a man was an island, then God wouldn't have given Adam a company or a helpmate. Right? Uh-huh. Because we all need each other. You know what? I'm liking this walk and this conversation. What y'all think? I think we're going to be doing this more often. What should I call this? So it's very enjoy and darkness adventure. But I won't always bring her with me because... I gotta watch as I'm walking. I gotta watch her so she don't get into something. Uh -huh. You see, I gotta watch her so. But when I come by myself, I can just stay focused. This is nice though. We're still walking. We're on the mountain. I don't know how far this trail goes to the end. I never walked to the end. Anybody watching this? And you've been to Moravian Falls Prayer Garden? Excuse me, Moravian Falls Prayer Mountain. How far does this trail go? To the end, I had never walked to the end. I don't know how far it goes. I don't know what's waiting for us down there. Angel, let's turn around and go back. Because ain't nobody here but us. Of course, Jesus with us. Angel marking her spot everywhere she goes to pee. Yes, Holy Ghost with us. The angels of the Lord with us. And this is the Moravian Falls Prayer Mountain. Where Neville and Sadhu... I think Terry have said it. Quite a few other people may have said it, but I can say of those two, I've heard them say that the Lord told them the very first time they stepped foot on this mountain, the Lord told them there are two places on earth where there's an open heaven, an open portal, Moravian Falls, and Jerusalem. Well, we're here, Angel, in Moravian Falls. Let's turn around and go back. Okay, I didn't go to the end of the trip because I don't know how far it goes. But. Um, maybe tomorrow I would. I won't bring her to me tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not. What you think? Angel, you want to come with me tomorrow to go for a walk? Nah. But what was I was saying? Yes. My friend, let's go. Let's go. Thank you. I'm talking to Angel, you know that. This will be a nice little thing. Call it the, the, the uh, just walking and talking. You know? Walking and sharing your mind, sharing your heart, whatever's on your mind. How many minutes have I talked? Oh, only 13. Okay, that's good. I feel like I've been like walking for an hour. That's what happened when you out of shape. Only 13 minutes. Feel like I've been walking for one hour. <laughs> Egypt. We're gonna get in shape up in here, girl. Let's go. Yeah, well, apparently they're gonna build a prayer house up here. That'll be good. So people have to go to the bathroom. They ain't gotta go out in the place. I'm not going to because I used I used the bathroom before I came. But I'm just saying they're gonna have a real proper toilet. Mm -hmm. At least they have. See that chair? They have chairs like that all over the mountains. Walk all the way, all the way down. Two, three chairs on, on both sides. See? Yeah. See? Let's go, Daddy. Let me see if I can flip this around. Oh, okay, I can't. Why not? Oh, man. Yes. I should be able to flip it around. Hold on. <laughs> 